that Marianne Williamson quote, right? Um, I'm not going to remember the whole thing off the top of my head, but it's like, it's your light, not your darkness that most terrifies you, right? Oh, very much. And there were threads of truth to some of this because I am here specifically not to be on like the front lines, but I'm a helper of the helpers and healers. I work Mm -hmm. with people that are already doing the work to help them expand. So that's one piece of it. But um, it took me a long time to heal many past life wounds and other things where I had responsibility for others. And I also had a thing around the word healer and Mm. healing because I was like, well, I can help you heal. I can give you tools for you to heal. I can be an example of what that looks like and I can guide you through the process, but I'm not doing it for you. So I'm not a healer. I didn't like that word at all because of all of the baggage that it came with too. That makes sense because the only person that can really heal you is yourself, right? Healers kind of guide you towards that path, that inward path, but you're doing all the work. So I I get that. That makes sense. That resonates. (laughs) And... I had to do some like unplugging of the word to really feel comfortable using it and be like, okay, we'll use it because that's what people identify with. But I would still rather be a guide, a space holder, a teacher, an activator than a healer. But I know I'm here to help healers bring their gifts, their voice, their message, their work, their light to the world and ripple it out. Yeah. And it's really cool that you ended up in that role because you had resistance to being that global healer it's almost like you knew like yeah that's kind of the path but it's not exactly my role it's like you intuitively knew that 